हेलो एंड वेलकम यू वाचिंग लेफ्ट राइट इन सेंटर बिग फोकस स्टोरी द महाराष्ट्र महाभारत दैट सीम्स टू कंटिन्यू इन अ बिग शॉक टू द शरद पवार लेड एनसीपी हिज नेफ्यू अजीत पवार वो स्वॉन इन एज द महाराष्ट्र डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर अलोंग विद एट अदर एनसीपी एमएलए वो स्वॉन इन टू द महाराष्ट्र कैबिनेट अजीत पवार हैज बीन स्वॉन इन एज द डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर फॉर द थर्ड टाइम इन 4 इयर्स अंडर थ्री डिफरेंट चीफ मिनिस्टर्स लेट्स सी हाउ लॉन्ग दिस स्टिंट ऑफ हिज लास्ट Ajit Pawar says the entire NCP is with him while Sharad Pawar the octogenarian says that he is now willing to rebuild the party this as Eknath Shinde the chief minister of Maharashtra has welcomed what he calls now a triple engine sarkar in Maharashtra so Ajit Pawar joining the BJP Shinde government the question we're asking on the show tonight is this perhaps the biggest coup ahead of the 2024 polls Joining me this evening our team of reporters Sohit live from the NCP office Sanket with the overall picture on what this means and Arvind with us in the studio to explain what really is the legal standing and the way forward we're going to get you all the latest developments and the analysis on the show but first up the headlines No end to the Maharashtra Mahabharat inside Ajit Pawar is the new deputy chief minister along with eight others he's taken oath in the Shinde BJP government today sources say Ajit Pawar has 40 of the 53 MLAs in support The entire NCP is with us claims Ajit Pawar Praful Patel attends the oath ceremony he is remember the working president of the party They say that they will use the NCP name and symbol to contest polls. The opposition is trying to come together, but they have their own issues, says Ajit Pawar. Sharad Pawar says he will be the NCP's face going forward and will rebuild the party. He says he doesn't want to fight for the name or the symbol. There's a key NCP meet now lined up on Wednesday. Shinde has welcomed Ajit Pawar. The Chief Minister of Maharashtra Eknath Shinde now says it's a triple engine sarkar and the opposition is not united ahead of 2024. The other big headline, four people have been killed in fresh violence in Manipur. The Chief Minister has visited Bishnupur after fresh arson. Combing operations to nab militants have been launched. A report now suggests that human error is behind the Odisha accident, the train accident that killed 293 people. Workers' negligence is responsible, according to this railway's report. Sabotage and machine fault have been ruled out. Well, Sohit Sanket and Arvind join us with the very latest. First, to you, Sohit, what's happening at the NCP office? Uh, well, uh, Rishika, where I am present, there was a meeting that happened over here. In fact, a press conference happened right behind me and upstairs on the first floor. Supriya Sule, who is the working president, uh, he is having a meeting with Jitendra Awar, uh, who uh, is now the chief whip as well as the leader of opposition, as appointed by Sharad Pawar. Then there is Jayant Patil, who is the state president of NCP. He is also present over there, and Anil Deshmukh is also present upstairs. I spoke to Anil Deshmukh earlier as well, and even today. what they have been saying is this doesn't come as a shock because yes everyone was expecting that today or tomorrow ajit pawar might leave but they did not expect it to happen so fast or so early because two days back ajit pawar wrote an article uh, after the shinde government completed one year and he was very critical in that article that he wrote for a newspaper and two days later what we know is that he is forming the government with the same person so yes now a lot of uh, strategies are being formed as we speak Sharad Pawar will be going to Satara tomorrow after that after which he'll start his entire touring of Maharashtra now remember that in 2019 there was a similar situation I'm going to interrupt you just there because the big Ajit question Pawar is is there clarity hand. on the numbers what are you picking up from the NCP camp there do we have clarity on the numbers Uh, well, when I spoke to some of the leaders who are present over here, they are saying that if they would have had a good number, uh, which means if the Ajit Pawar camp would have a number or a number which is very significant, they would have ensured that they speak about it and tell, like similar to what Ekna Shinde did. The first day he okay. was in Surat, he told us that he has 40 MLAs. The next day it became 50 MLAs. But Ajit Pawar is not saying a single number. He is just saying the majority is with him. Okay. Uh, what uh, Jayant Patil said while speaking over here is that those. 
nine people who took the oath, they wanted to leave the party. There were yes, other right. MLAs who were present over there, but they were uh, present because they were told that Sharad Pawar well, uh, has given blessing to Ajit Pawar for forming the government, but that wasn't the case. So they are expecting, or in fact, when I was speaking to the state president Jain Patil of Camera, he said that we are in touch with the uh, with many of the MLAs, and they will be joining us back on the fifth. Okay. Uh, uh, despite though, uh, though those won't be joining who have been made uh, the cabinet ministers, mm. but yes, others are expected to join. And from 17th, the monsoon session begins. Yes. So more clarity will be there when we come to know who will be and sitting on the uh, ruling side of the bench and right. who will be sitting on the opposition side of the bench. Arvind, that ultimately boils down to the numbers, doesn't it? How does this now play out legally? Uh, with uh, Rishika, with both uh, Ajit Pawar and also not Sharad Pawar making it clear how many MLAs are on either side. But one thing is very clear, Sharad Pawar has again reiterated that he continues to be the president of the party. Hmm. So Sharad Pawar has also said that the party will be taking disciplinary action against the uh, uh, against the legislators or the party leaders who rebel against the party and he has made, he has made it very clear that uh, he would be uh, continuing to lead the party. And also very importantly, the subsequent development that is very much uh, important here is is that the NCP has named someone else as the legislative party leader. Earlier it was uh, uh, Ajit Pawar who was the legislative party leader of NCP in Maharashtra. He has been replaced by some other leader. That clearly shows that Sharad Pawar is not in line right. with what Ajit Pawar has done. So mm. from now on what we have to see, what we have to wait and watch is that whether Sharad Pawar will be expelling Ajit Pawar, Praful Patel and others, all those people who have joined this particular government and if he chooses to uh, expel them, then will he move uh, for disqualification of all these rebel is something that we have to wait and watch for. On the other hand side, because Ajit Pawar has said that NCP name and party symbol is with him, that means he is trying to stake claim for the party. So, that there will right. be two developments. One, uh, these uh, NCP, Sarat Pawar led NCP will be seeking disqualification of rebel MLAs, whereas Ajit Pawar will be moving election commission to stake claim for the okay. party name and symbol. Okay, so very important to follow the chronology of events there as well, Sanket. Break down this story for us in terms of the political context. You know, the question that I asked at the very outset of the show is, is this perhaps the biggest political coup ahead of the 2024 general elections? Uh, well, uh, let's picture the national picture first. So, in 20, ahead of 2024, what is the opposition doing? They're trying to cobble together and stitch together an opposition unity. The most sincere effort in the past nine years. And we have seen that big meeting in Patna. Next is going to happen in Bengaluru. Sharad Pawar, a crucial part of it. So while that is happening, to break Sharad Pawar's party and get that faction into, uh, you know, the NDA, in that context, in that sense, yes, this is a big political one-up for the Bharatiya Janata Party. Another important thing, what does this do? You see, I think an important question needs to be asked. What was the need? It's not like uh, there was a problem in the Maharashtra government that they needed numbers desperately and they were short or they had a wafer-thin majority. They have just done more padding. They've got more people. Now, what can this do potentially? Number one is the perception battle that while you may be, the opposition may be getting an alliance together, we also are expanding our version of the NDA. The other thing that the BJP has done, and very smartly, you know, if I were Mr. Shinde, I would be very worried with the developments that have happened today. The bargaining ability of an Eknath Shinde, who broke away from the Shiv Sena, has reduced. Because now the Bharatiya Janata Party may not really have to depend that much on Eknath Shinde. They have got the buffer that they needed. So how will this play out in their negotiations ahead of 2024 will be very important as far as Mr. Eknath Chinde is concerned. The other important way to look at this, and this is very interesting, you see, uh, Congress has been accused a lot by its smaller alliance partners in the UPA that you never live up to your side of the bargain, you're, you're the weakest link, uh, because of you we end up losing, you get much more than what you want. But here, surprisingly, in the context of Maharashtra, of the three parties in the opposition, Shiv Sena, broken, NCP, broken, it's only the Congress party which is in one piece. Right. So, given their Karnataka win, Himachal win, and now this, perhaps it will give the Congress party more elbow room in the Bengaluru meet of right. the opposition. So, if you wanted to come in? Uh, I just wanted to add one thing uh, to what Sanket said. Well, Sanket, uh, three days back, I was uh, present uh, at the bungalow of Ajit Pawar. 
सो वी थॉट दैट देर इज अ मीटिंग ऑफ द ऑपोजिशन दैट इज गोइंग टू हैपन ओवर दैट बट वाइल द मीटिंग ऑफ द एम वी ए डिड नॉट हैपन अ वेरी सीनियर महाराष्ट्र कांग्रेस लीडर डिड मीट अजीत पवार थ्री डेज बैक एंड ही इज अ वेरी सीनियर कांग्रेस लीडर एंड दिस पो फॉर अराउंड टू आवर्स आफ्टर विच ही केम आउट एंड सेट दैट इट वॉज समथिंग पर्सनल एंड थ्री डेज लेटर वॉट वी सी इज दैट अजीत पवार इज जॉइनिंग हैंड्स विथ एक नाथ शिंदे एज वेल एज विथ देवेंद्र फडनवीस एंड दिस लीडर विच आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इज ऑल्सो समवन हु हैज बीन अक्यूज ऑफ सेवरल स्कैम्स इन द पास्ट एंड देर वेर सेवरल रूमर्स अबाउट हिम ऑल्सो ज्वाइनिंग द बी जे पी एज वेल सो इट इज पॉसिबल दैट नाउ सिंस शिवसेना हैज बीन ब्रोकन एन सी पी हैज बीन ब्रोकन द नेक्स्ट टारगेट फॉर देम वुड बी टू ब्रेक द बिग लीडर्स ऑफ कांग्रेस पार्टी एज वेल एज वी स्पीक वॉट वी नो इज दैट देर इज अ ग्रुप प्रेजेंट ओवर देर एज वेल रिशिका लेट मी टेल यू वेरी शॉर्टली वॉट हैज हैपन इज Three months back, some things uh, which we were told by the NCP leaders, obviously we did not have someone on record, hmm. is that there were six people who went and meet Sharad Pawar, which included Ajit Pawar, Jayant. Uh, I beg your pardon, Ajit Pawar, Praful Patel, uh, uh, and after after that it was uh, Chagan Bhujbal, Hasan Musharraf, Dilip Palse Patel, and there was someone else as well. Hmm. So these six went over there and said that okay, we think so that we should form an alliance with the BJP. Hmm. Sharad Pawar did not say anything. Two days later, he announced that. He He wants to step down from the post of president. Then we saw what happened. He said that okay, I'll become the president later. Supriya Sule was made uh, the working president, and now almost two months later, what we see is that Ajit Pawar and those six people, along with several others, right. have actually joined the government. So yes, this has been continuing in the background yes. for a long time, and that's why I said that while the people are not surprised that this happened, they are surprised on the timing of this because just three days back, Ajit Pawar uh, wrote a very critical article right. against this very same government which he has joined today. Right. Very interesting, uh, uh, Sohi, that you break down that timeline for us in that sense. And uh, you know, Ajit Pawar said in that press conference today that this is something that has been brewing for a while. Uh, while, of course, you know, uh, very, very carefully saying that you know he's enlisted the support not just of these MLAs but also of the party. It's been uh, a fascinating and uh, also its impact story. on the expansion of the union cabinet. Yes, those are uh, those are separate developments from New Delhi. The that ramifications in New Delhi. Yes. So we are going to continue to, of course, track all aspects of this story. And thank you very much. Uh, Uh, Sanket Arvind and Sohit for joining us with you know all the multiple angles of this story. Uh, remember, we will of course continue to track this with our reporters on the ground and continue to bring you the very latest. But joining me this evening, we have Anand Dubey, spokesperson of uh, the Shiv Sena Uddhav Thakre faction. We have Dr. Syed Zafar Islam, national spokesperson of the BJP, a former BJP MP of the Rajya Sabha, and uh, uh, we will also be joined, I'm told, by uh, by Mahesh Tapse. uh on the phone line he's a spokesperson of the ncp thank you all very much for being with us uh, mahesh tapse i want to of course first begin by asking you uh no clarity on the numbers neither has the ajit pawar faction so to speak paraded any mlas or spoken of numbers barring uh, a total of nine people who've joined uh, uh, the shinde bjp government uh how many mlas are you still in touch with how many uh, you know are with sharad pawar My my party has fifty four MLAs. Minus this nine MLAs, who have decided to side with the current uh, dispensation. I can say with authority that I have forty five MLAs with me. Because generally, whenever you want to support a government, the leader has to give uh, the letter to the governor. And at this juncture, I do not see any risk of the power to just use by the governor's office. And some of the MLAs who did that. Uh, In that uh, NCP was uh, the government and opposition party. They again accepted their statement. They spoke to Power Sahab, and after Power Sahab's press conference, it has become amply clear that the NCP is not supporting the current BJP Ekna Chinde dispensation. Our MLAs, our nine that they spoke at their decision for the BJP, their personal decision, but nothing to do with the. non committal it appears both sides so far non committal on the numbers i think the next uh, 48 to 72 hours is going to be extremely crucial uh, anand dubey you know i want to come to you at the moment because this does raise several questions in the future of the mahavikas agadi in the state of maharashtra and the future of opposition unity with the nay on 2024 rishika ji namaste uh dekhiye aisa hai ajit dada pawar ka kal ka ek bayan hai कि मैंने अपनी लाइफ में 
देवेंद्र फडवणीस और एक नाथ शिंदे की है जो सरकार काम कर रही एक साल से ऐसी असफल सरकार नहीं देखी पिछले एक साल में कोई भी दिन ऐसा नहीं गया जब पानी पी पी कर न कोसा हो अजीत दादा पवार ने इस भारतीय जनता पार्टी और शिंदे सरकार को दूसरी तरफ नरेंद्र मोदी जी भोपाल में कह रहे हैं इस देश में बहुत बड़े बड़े भ्रष्टाचारी वाली पार्टियां हैं जिसमें एक एनसीपी है अजीत पवार है सत्तर हजार करोड़ का एक मैं बता रहा हूं दो मिनट सुनिए तो दो मिनट जब बोलने नहीं देंगे तो कैसे देश की जनता को बता पाऊंगा कहने का मतलब यह है कि अजीत दादा पवार कल तक जो बीजेपी की सरकार को कोस रहे थे भारतीय जनता पार्टी के बड़े बड़े नेता जो अजीत दादा पवार से किनारा कर रहे थे वो आज राजभवन में आनंद फानंद में शपथ दिलवा देते हैं सरकार बनवा देते हैं उसके बाद भारतीय जनता पार्टी कहती है नहीं भाई हमारा इससे कोई लेना देना नहीं है हम तो जानते भी नहीं है कैसे हो रहा है इसका मतलब भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने षड्यंत्र के तहत जैसे शिवसेना को तोड़ने का काम किया था वैसे ही एनसीपी को तोड़ने का काम किया है और उसके बाद मुस्कुराते हुए इससे बच निकलना चाहते हैं लेकिन मैं आपके माध्यम से बता देना चाहता हूं जब भी चुनाव होंगे इसका खामियाजा बीजेपी को भोगना पड़ेगा और okay. बहुत दूरगामी परिणाम भोगना पड़ेगा हमारे मित्र जफर इस्लाम साहब यहाँ बैठे हैं उनका भी अंतर आत्मा ये जानता है लेकिन उनकी मजबूरी है आपने पार, मेरे पार्टी... सवाल का जवाब दिया नहीं है मैं आपने मुझे पूछा कि विपक्षी एकता का क्या होगा 2024 तक क्या होगा मैं वही कह रहा हूं इससे विपक्षी एकता का कोई संबंध नहीं है अगर पार्टी से एम पी टूट के जाते हैं तो इसका मतलब पार्टी टूट जाती है ये बिल्कुल नहीं होता यही तो भ्रम है जैसे हमारे शिवसेना के एम पी गए उससे उद्धव ठाकरे जी को कोई तकलीफ नहीं कार्यकर्ता वही खड़ा है जिस दिन चुनाव करवा देंगी उस दिन हम जीत कर आ जाएंगे इसीलिए हम महानगर पालिका में चुनाव चाहते हैं और बीजेपी चुनाव नहीं चाहती इससे अंतर स्पष्ट इस है और महाविकास आघाड़ी में okay. ऐसे हजारों नेता भी अगर जाते आते रहेंगे तो महाविकास महाविकासर इस्लाम दलिगेशन वेरी क्लियरली इज यू नो द ब्लेम गेम सो टू स्पीक द एलिगेशन इज दट दिस इज ऑल द डर्टी ट्रिक्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द बीजेपी एट वर्क इट इज इसेंशियली योर ब्रेन चाइल्ड यू नो टू इंजीनियर दिस दिस एंटायर डिफेक्शन I think uh, your your channel is running the interview of Mr. Praful Patel, who is the acting president of NCP. Yes. You must also relay his interview to everyone and let Mr. Dubey also hear him. As an acting president, what did he say? That is not there is no defection. It is the party. They have taken a call, and they have decided to join the government. The party has taken a call. which includes mr sharad pawar that is what has been stated by mr ajit pawar that he has spoken and he has blessing of not only all the mlas but also all the mps and the senior functionaries including ajit pawar uh, 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 sharad pawar i mean that is what he stated in uh, in his uh, press conference so mr dubey i, I know he is overly uh, concerned that his ut group of uh, shiv sena It has very little number of uh, uh, MLAs left, and they they will also will not be able to meet when the election will take place. But I can understand is the anxiety. The fact you cannot ignore. Fact is that the party has joined. Party has joined the government because they feel that the uh, uh, there is a developmental work which is which can which is taking place elsewhere, and he they are not part of that. So they want to be part of that developmental work which is being taking place all over the country, including Maharashtra. they have seen how the honorable prime minister has laid okay. the foundation of this new Anand, india where okay. the lot of the development of work is taking place india is becoming a, 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 a very formidable power on the global platform Anand, so internally rishika ji rishika ji rishika ji india has become strong and that is something they feel and then we are okay they the want to they want to be a part they want to be a part of the success story and that's what ajit pawar has said in the press conference so essentially saying nothing new anand dubey rishika ji पार्टी एनसीपी ने उनको ज्वाइन नहीं किया है सब नंबर ऑफ एम एल एज आर गोइंग देयर वो वहां गए हुए हैं पूरी पार्टी आज पवार जी के साथ है और सुनिए इज अ प्रेसिडेंट इज अंडर इज अ फाउंडर ऑफ एनसीपी नो 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 द मेंबर एक एक्टिंग प्रेसिडेंट नो 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 ये भ्रम है ऋषिका जी आपका रिशिका जी नंबर ऑफ सब एम एल एज आर गोइंग देयर दे आर नॉट पार्टी द पार्टी इज विद मिस्टर शरद पवार एंड सो मेनी कार्यकर्ता सो मेनी कार्यकर्ता गैदरिंग इन एनसीपी ऑफिस मुंबई और वो चेहरे पे काला लगा रहे हैं जिन्होंने मंत्री पद की शपथ ली है दे आर 
मैं वही कहना चाहता हूँ आप भ्रमित न करिए आप भ्रमित नहीं चले गए तो क्या हुआ सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कितनी फटकार लगाई और संविधानिक सरकार बता दिया कहा कि तो यदि आपने इस्तीफा नहीं दिया होता तो आप फिर मुख्यमंत्री बन जाते इतनी बड़ी सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने फटकार लगाई उसके बाद आप इतनी दे रहे पार्टी क्या है ये सब नहीं बिल्कुल है समझ रही है आप अजीत दादा पवार के साथ कुछ है मिलने गए हैं नॉट पूरी पार्टी नॉट बीजेपी all three parties coming together the what share was so overwhelming that uh, they would not be uh, doing well so there was an very intense attempt to, to break the mba all parties were, were being targeted but uh, we know that the people who are left uh, with mr ajit pawar are all those who are facing serious uh, ed inquiries and so it's a really we can say the ed faction of the ncp has left but again we are not very clear about the numbers whether mr ajit pawar indeed has two thirds numbers required to uh, effect a split or uh, he doesn't have two thirds whether mr pawar has more than 17 18 mls with him hmm. that will be uh, made clear in a couple of days okay. so this is a evolving situation we don't know what has happened uh, the mls has won in but will they continue to be ministers or will they be continue to be members we don't know you know two quick thing, go ahead yeah. the the second thing is the the disqualification petition pending against mr eknath chinde uh, will have to be settled before 11th of august that is within the 90 days uh, from the day that supreme court remitted it to the speaker vidhan sabha right now we are very sure that mr eknath chinde and his 16 colleagues will be disqualified because it is open and shut case and if they get disqualified will require a new chief minister now have uh, the bjp people leadership of bjp Uh, given a promise to Mr. Ajit Pawar that he will succeed Mr. Eknath Chinde as the Chief Minister, we don't know because Mr. Ajit Pawar wanted to become uh, Chief Minister, not, right. not less. Right. Will he be satisfied with being a Deputy CM? I don't know. That's also another evolving situation. So two things: whether Mr. Ajit Pawar has 36 MLAs or more than 36 or not, hmm. and secondly, what happens to the case which is pending before the Speaker Vidhan Sabha? Uh, in case of Mr. Ekna Chinde, it's Chindes, interesting. Sir. It's interesting because you're saying that this is all essentially instigated by the threat of the ED. This is a narrative that the opposition has maintained. But I want to ask you something that Ajit Pawar said in the press conference today, which is talking about the fact that the opposition is a divided house. There is uh, there is nothing known as opposition unity. This particular story that has unfolded today hasn't it, in a certain sense. uh you know dealt to death blow to opposition unity no 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 mr ajit pawar saying anything doesn't matter at all ajit pawar has been a member of a coalition since 1999 first two parties then three parties so he has been part of coalition mr sharad pawar was a part of coalition in manmohan singh government so i so said we the, after very long time mr modi got a clear majority after 1984 in fact so we have to live with the multi party coalitions and today we are trying to build a strong uh, anti modi coalition just to divide the votes because in uh, last two lok sabha elections we saw that uh, mr modi only got about 31 to 37 35% vote 65% people voted to defeat mr modi hmm. but those votes are getting divided hmm. so our attempt is to make sure that we put up one candidate against okay. the bjp La my my last question to you: What does this mean for the Congress within the Mahavikas Agadi? So far, the only uh, you know part of the Mahavikas Agadi alliance that's been left unbroken in Maharashtra. Yeah, well, there are attempts to break uh, Congress party also, but you see, two thirds numbers uh, would be about thirty MLAs. It's not easy. It's easy to break one or two people. That may happen even. But I think uh, they have done what they have done. But we have to be also careful. We are calling a meeting of four MLAs day after tomorrow, and we'll make sure that everything is fine. But uh, the battle within the NCP will be an interesting battle. Uh, we are with Mr. Pawar at this party as long as he continues to fight the BJP, and uh, 
Mr. Pawar has risen from the ashes in the past. So uh, he has also vowed to begin his campaign in earnest right from tomorrow. He's okay. coming to my constituency tomorrow morning. And I think from there, he'll launch his uh, uh, campaign. And the MLAs who are supposed to be going with Ajit Pawar or not going with Ajit Pawar, all are in touch with their local leaders, the campaign managers who run their assembly campaigns right. and all that. If those give a negative signal, then all of them will come back. Because ultimately, they had to fight elections uh, with the help of the workers and the senior leaders of the assembly constituency. If they are negative on this whole uh, business, hmm. then I think they'll all come back. Well, can the octogenarian really build it up from bottom up again? Those are big questions that need to be well, answered. Yes, says that he will. We'll have to believe that. You know, I don't know. It's an uphill task. I know that. But he has uh, promised uh, before an all India audience okay. that he's going to do it uh, beginning tomorrow. All right. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Prithvi Rajavan, for speaking with us on NDTV. I'm afraid that's all the time we thank have you. on left, right and centre this evening. Thanks very much for tuning in.